Hey, this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and I'm going to demonstrate how I enter and manage a trade here. I'm long from this low right here. I meant to drop my limit order. Uh, I actually started with my limit order right here, and um, I didn't get it in there in time, and it it uh, I wanted to put it right here and let it tick lower, and but I didn't get it in there in time, and um, it took me, so I had to raise it by a tick, and so, and that cost me from getting, I would already be out with my scout portion of this trade if I'd have got in where I wanted to get in, and um, I'm a little concerned about this trade now. So I've got my, I've moved my stop to one tick below my, this the lowest point of this um this formation this congestion here so if it break below that you know it could be a one tick failure but that's not a good sign if it breaks below so I'm going to exit this trade with a I'll lose a point if we go lower there I still like this possibly um to the upside and if it gets hung in here again I may just exit this and take whatever it will give me um, but this is kind of how I, I'm just going to kind of show you how I manage a trade and again, my reason for entering was this little bitty doji down here, strong support. And generally when prices, you know, tick past that, they will trap everybody and run it back up. And I didn't get in where I wanted, and I got a little greedy on that tick. And so far that tick has cost me from getting out of this trade and being at break even. So, and basically what I'm going to do is try to scalp out, um, two of these and leave a runner in case we you know if this turns out to be the low side of a range on a range day then we're probably headed up here and I actually want to move this up a little more for now in case we survive but what I'll probably do is manage my stop I'll leave this up here for my target in case we make it to the high but I'll manage my stop along the way and I just don't know if this trade's going to work out we're really struggling to go any higher. <clears throat> Still looking in my favor so far. But part of the reason I still like this is we have a lot of stems down here. We've got We've really got a broader double bottom. All right, let's see if I can get out this time. We've touched my limit order a few times already, so if we were to hit it again, I've probably got to be really early in the queue. I just can't get up there. So this is <clears throat> this is probably a sign to maybe take what I can get on this one. But that's the way they do. Um, They'll, they'll, they're trying to trick everybody. If they're wanting to run it higher, um, they're going to trap everybody out first, and uh, and they did that twice down here. I think they should have a bunch of shorts trapped into this trade. So if we ever break it up here, it may, um, you know, it may rock it on off. But we just got to see what's going to happen here. It's really struggling to go higher. But we got strong support down here. And this, this line right here is the overnight gap that we had to fill. When, we, when the market opened, we were up in here somewhere. And so there's a gap between there and where we closed on Friday. And they usually fill that gap. And that was another reason I liked this point, because this pullback, I believe, was to come back and fill this gap. And... Um, Sometimes the trend will, you know, it'll form a trend and it'll continue on. Sometimes it doesn't. So we'll just have to see what happens. But I'm really tempted just to close this one and take a tick out of it and just be done with it and look for a new entry. But they're still continuing to. There's not much news today. So. I 
here we go again. All right, let's see if we can exit this thing. Come on, buyers. Well, we entered as a doji again. No matter what happens now, we've got all this congestion, so it's likely to break out one side or the other and fail. There we go. Come on. A lot of times when you get in with a bunch of dojis like this, it's better just to go ahead and exit this trade. All right, we're out. You notice my stopped automatically moved to break even. So we put $100 in our account, and we've got a runner still going here that we will manage along the way. And there's different ways I could manage this runner. I could go ahead and use my profits to, to move my stop all the way down here. Um, like so, and I'd still, you know, even if, even if I got stopped out on this, I would still have a point of profit, um, so I could use it that way, but I like to just keep mine at break even or break even plus one or maybe break even minus one, because usually when they're coming back to get the stops, they're coming back to these points that are, that are the the trigger points on these trades. So uh, by getting in way down here, and I really should have been in a tick better. And I know a tick doesn't seem like much, but I would have been out of this trade on the first move if I'd have got in where I wanted to get in. And I really chased this market a little bit. And actually, we've got a something else I need to consider. We've got this trend line coming down through here. And so this might be a you know, I might should have just exited all this, but this is where you get your runners. And if you, you know, if you, you never know, the best place to hang on your runners are when you catch low points. And that's when I like to, it's when you generally get your best moves. I'll tell you what I'm going to do on this one. No, we'll just leave it where, actually, I'm going to bring it down to 30. Because if we exit there, we'll make uh, five points on our runner. So um, if we can get out there, this will give us a total of seven points on this trade. Which amount to about $350. And if you can make $350 every day, you know, you can do pretty well trading, and that's just one trade. And so you don't have to. That's what I try to tell people. You don't have to enter a lot. You just have to make the best of the ones that you get right. If you can make $350 every day, that's $1,750 a week. And that's about $7,000 a month for taking one trade a day. Now, we haven't got our $350 yet, but, uh, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself here. But. That's kind of, you know, that's kind of what we're looking at here. So, we could exit this one right here now with two points. And we'd still end up making a total of, here we go, we're going higher. We could have had three points now. Got this working in our favor. And we wouldn't have to exit here, but there's a very strong chance that if we run up to here, we're going to pull back uh, pretty quickly. So um, 
that's why I'm just looking. If I can make get my seven points here on this one trade right out of the gate, then I'll be happy with that, and we'll look for, you know, then we'll look for other opportunities. I'm not going to move my stop yet. I'm going to wait till we get, um, you know, I'm always talking about these little temporary short-term trend lines. And that's pretty much it, I would think, right there. So... Stay with this trade as long as this trend line's holding. And you figure we're going to get resistance here, and this would be your first target. But if we get through that one, we'll probably be able to test this high. So, but I'm not convinced we'll we're going to get through this one without pulling back first. we go ahead and higher come on and break through there keep going don't back up yet and this would have been a good place to have your first target. there we go we got through there let's see if we can go on up and test the next one come on buyers but you see down here that was you know it was really let me show you this when I entered this trade that's what it looked like and it's it's scary entering down there like that but that's what you got to do you got to be able to figure out how to find the lows and buy them and to sell the highs and now now this is where everybody's thinking about getting long in here you know all these people that missed they're jumping on board and they're running it up two more ticks i don't know if we're gonna get them or not come on We're way overdue for a pullback here. Come on, buyers. Two more ticks. You can do it. And you could tighten this stop all the way up here. And uh, But generally, I like to see at least one bar in the other direction and then enter my stop. Because you'll get a lot of times where prices will tick back one bar uh, and then just can turn back with the trend instantly. Here we go. They're trying it. This is where it gets really nerve-wracking sometimes when you're right there and, you, and you're fighting over a tick or two and you're, you don't want to, you don't want to, you get greedy and you don't want to give back your money and you exit and then it shoots up and if you don't exit it turns down and so this is where it gets difficult at times uh, and a lot of times that's why I'll just um, that's what we'll do we'll just move our stop odds are if I move my stop right here we're probably going to get stopped out but we haven't broke that trend line yet so Tell you what, we'll give it two ticks. Come on, buyers. Now you got these overmatching highs right here. Way away from the EMA, but we got a we have no break of this trend line yet, so all right, now we're bumping off our order. Let's hope we can get filled here. It's amazing lately how many times I get to this point right here, and I'm just trying to get one tick too many or and it turns down and you give half of it back so now that we've broken above that little doji and those matching bars I'm gonna tighten that up just in case it backs up because that won't be a good sign come on buyers get us out of this thing one more tick 
And if it bumps off of it enough, we might get filled anyway. But this has been kind of been my MO lately that I, I can't get out of these trades. I don't know what it is. I'm just, and one thing I do know is that usually the best place to exit is one tick below where the last closing was. And you see those closings were right there. And notice if you'd have got out right there, that would have worked out for you. But by going for that extra tick, and I don't quite understand that other than what, what I think it is, is that that's where the sale orders get located. And so there's still some people that didn't get short right there. They have their orders there. And so it has to work through a, a lot of <laughs> sell orders. Here we go. We're trying it again. But we have just not been able to exit. And like I said, that's kind of been my, <laughs> my MO lately is that I get to this point and um, I end up giving back a, come on buyers, one more tick. Hmm. just cannot get it through there but now what I'm thinking if they do pop it through there it's probably gonna shoot on up to the there we go all right we got out all right as you can see there we made um, five points on the runner we made two points on the scalp so that's a total of seven points and um, you know fifty dollars a point that's three hundred fifty dollars we made right there and that was just one trade and not they don't always work out that great but um, a lot of times they do. And you can see that we were lucky enough to get out of that trade without uh, prices actually even ticking through our order there. And that, that's hard to do. But the way you're able to do that is when you get in the queue early. But you noticed I moved my order up there real quick. Um, and so I was sitting up there for a long time before prices ever got up there. And what a lot of times is happening as prices are rising, more and more people are dropping orders in there around this area. This, this is what you got to realize is with this, with this double top up here, that's resistance. And a lot of people probably wanted to get short up here and didn't, and their orders didn't get filled. And then once people realize there's a, a strong resistance, they're looking to go short if prices get up there, especially when they run up there real fast like this and get way away from the EMA. Because we're due for a pullback there, you know, once these people, once everybody that enters down here starts taking their profits, prices are going to pull back. And that's what causes it to pull back because all these people get in and they start taking profits. And then on top of that, you get a lot of people that want to get in right here because they miss this down. They don't, they're not brave enough to get in down here where I got in. And so they miss this and they chase it and they end up going, getting long up here at these highs. And then suddenly it, it breaks higher and they probably got their order there and now they're getting a couple of ticks going in their favor and then all of a sudden it turns down and they all have to exit and then all these smart traders that have been in all this time take their profit and you see I probably could have gone ahead and had my order up here and uh, but you don't want to get greedy we got like I said we got an easy seven ticks there without much you know it never really went against us more than a tick or two there and um, we had this strong support. We had the overnight, the close from Friday, the overnight low. It was just a gap we had to fill. But that was an easy um, seven ticks. And this trend line's not really valid here. This this is just a, so far this is a trading range. And you notice how I use this, uh, this is, a, you know, how I use this short-term trend line. We finally got a little close below it and we broke lower. Now we've gone up to retest it. Now my guess is we're going to get the, um, the correction and I'm tempted to go short right here now and ride this back down but um, I, I don't really like the setup so far other than uh, entering on a limit order right there and there's a chance that since we have people trapped down here at the lows we may shoot on through here so but I'm really tempted to go short right there but we're 20 minutes into this trade example so I'm gonna wrap this up but hopefully that uh, you see how I did, and it's not always that easy. A lot of times you'll get up in here and you'll turn back down, but this was a fairly easy one to manage. Um, it was a pretty strong move once we got it going, and prices never really looked back. We had one negative bar here, but we never had a bar that ticked lower while I was in that trade. I got out of the trade before we ever broke lower. So, um, 
fairly simple trade. Um, again, we made five points on the runner. I scalped out two contracts at a point and used that for my uh, safety net. And, and like I said, there's several ways you can manage that stop. You can move, you can put it at break even just so you make money on your scalp, or you can move it down, use what you made off the scalp portion to protect your trade and try to get as much as you can. And you could, you could have stayed in this trade even longer and just keep moving your stop up. Um, but you know, I like to exit and then look for another entry. I don't like to give back my profits and, and, you know, depending on what your, your trading style is, you know, you may want to hang on to a trade. You may not want to look for more entries because you may not be as good at picking the entries. If you get really good at picking the entries and knowing where the key entry points are, um, I generally like to just exit with my profits and then re-enter again at a better point. And uh, so uh, what I will do is if we come back down here and get another setup, I may go long again. And uh, like I said, I'm really tempted to go short here, but I don't th I think I'm going to wait and, and see if we can't take this high out right here, at least test that high before. But we do, let me show you this here again. We look at this little trend line. And we did kind of have a little break there and then a retest. So that's, um, we could go lower from right there. I really think we, we might, but it wouldn't surprise me either if we don't run up one more time to try to test these highs. And if we get through there, you might hit some stops and run it even higher. So, but for right now, I like the idea of looking for a short right up in here. So we'll see what happens. And uh, But I'm going to wrap up this trade. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If you got any questions, drop me an email. I'll try to answer them for you. But this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.